be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol. To the right, school to the left. Pick which side you want. Oh, this is nice. The train's going to help him get in some cover, so Skadoodle can't quite see him. Now he's going to get aggressive, and Stewie's waiting for it. But he's found a window of opportunity to fall all the way back. Timing is going to be so critical. And actually, Skadoodle misses the shot. Stewie's in peak yet. There it is, but Bolts wins both. Huge round for Bolts to take from Cloud9. I think they are. Lucas is still here. So is the ADP. They're going to have to fight their way, but luckily they've won that first one. KNG is the next guy up with the op, and he's going to go for a play. And he's completely flashed out. When they've crossed to the bomb site, they'll get it planted. And he's going to continue forward. There's oh. one. Automatic next up, but no, he's too quick. Bolts is outnumbered, outgunned, and now it starts to burn. Not the ideal conditions for Ample of a retake, but he's going to give it a good crack anyway. 12 bullets left in that clip. Trying to find those last two players who split themselves up, make it very tricky to isolate without the trade out coming in, and there it is. Cloud9 recover. 35 seconds left, Cloud9 still to make their move, and it is going to be towards outside. This is a chance for Henny. What a flick. There's the speed. Henny needs to give them hell. This is his moment to shine. Lucas is there. He's doing what he can to dig Immortals out of this situation. Oh, a connection, but not a kill. Only a tag on towards nothing. That's 15 HP remaining. And Skadoodle picks up the reins. The smoke's come in. The vision gets blurred and hindered as nothing death for that bomb. One, and there it is. He gets it in, but he does die in the meantime. Down to Shroud and Skadoodle to keep it together. They should be able to do this. They have the rifles as well. AK has been salvaged. They've got to get aggressive as well. There's no kids on any of these players. Nice shot from Skadoodle. Coming up clutch. Shroud hasn't had to peek just yet. Skadoodle sees the shadow. It fools him, and there's Shroud for the cover. Great teamwork, and KNG has got nothing left. Shroud does peek, though. He gives him a chance. But Skadoodle cleans it up. Ow. <laughs> well... This is actually a really big round for North. Another reset scenario. They're not even going to check that. MSL, it's too easy. Swaps over for the AK. Needs some support. There's the smoke. They're going to spam through. That'll all have to get away. And actually, Magic's doing a great deal of damage on the Snappy. MSL is going to take this opportunity to fall back. Again, keeping eyes towards the A side of things. Three players are very much dedicated towards this. Magic's going to get himself up towards the ledge. Find that obnoxious angle that is so annoying to deal with. Yugi's trying to find something here, but if he goes a step too far, but it does look like a slow B hit is building. They do have the mollies to kind of litter that site with if they do so wish, but they still need to get past these two who are quite aggressive here. MSL has been the early warning system. Again, stick around these positions. They have mollies and they're not using them. Oh god, it's a disaster and MSL is at the helm of all of it. Heroic shatter into pieces. Inside of A, which is an additional smoke deployed, is now going to get down to something like 30, I think that's 25 seconds when they get to go. ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ち
Gotta be very careful. It's not really worth it if you just fall back and go down. Instead, he lands headshot on one, continues the spray, and Fur with the second headshot, triple over all of the round. And Flusher and all of Meister are left. What a way to lose a round if you're Fnatic here. You didn't even get a chance to do anything. Like, whatever they had in mind. Huh. Instead, he's just gonna walk right in and stab him with the AK-47. I. It's kind of brutal, but if it works, I guess we're okay with it. It's still a three-on-three, -three, but the bomb has gone down now with just 13 seconds left. And Fallen... Not really able to find an angle yet. They have three kits though, Anders, and they still have a smoke on cold as well. If I could make that diffuse actually happen, although it doesn't literally look like they're too excited about it. Cold will eventually find the kill. So hard to actually get the retake going with two AWPs. He's going to swap out for the AK immediately, but they're starting to run a little bit out of time here, and the smoke gets used on Palace instead. Olaf Meister, you're... that was such a key position, and JW trying to be the hero, but again, Fallen. Three kills for him, two of them in the retake, and the man is just a monster. They lost everybody in the last round that they won, so you get ne nearly nothing on the CT side. Olaf trying his best, but it's a very slim hope that you win a round like this. Flusher goes down, at least Olaf has traded up for the AK-47, but in a one versus four, goes down to Phelps as well. Triple for Phelps. The stick smoke comes in, the push continues. He adjusts instantly towards Coils, but the bomb's already on the side. Yeah, that shot from Config was so important to hit there. Oh, he's gonna go for it again! This time he nails it! Config being a nightmare. He's gonna get in front of that volley. I think he goes for more. Oh, it's unfortunate that gets extinguished. As he pushed through the smoke. Does he dare one more time? Maybe with a pop flash, perhaps? But now he's given his team an advantage and he waits for the reinforcements to come. He's done a lot of work in these past two rounds. Oh, nightmare might be the understatement of the year, but Yugi potential of plenty, so much firepower. He's got a small chance to build, the flash is good. Well, he's coming in, he's trying to readjust, plays out dark a little bit, looks towards that CT side. Oh my god, they almost line up, he finds one. Oh, the follow-up is... Oh! Oh! Yugi, what is that? Absolutely incredible play. Oh, but they're not, they're backing away from this. Could be another quick wrap towards Quad. You can see them setting up here. The smokes are still up, they're gonna go straight through and a flash or two, and that's all you need. Deep smoke goes in towards the library, but Yugi finally there. That's what you need. Yugi needs to get into this game, but he smoked off, he's under pressure. As are his teammates. Great way to dig him out of it though. Takes down Mad, just gets towards the side and Oh, Yugi again! And again, this man wants to do more for his side as Snappy closes out the round, but that's brought a little bit of an opportunity right back with him now. Really, really rough for retake. With some flashbangs, UMP, CZ as well. It's not looking great. No, it's not. Magisk is maybe one and done at most. He does fall up with a second brilliant spray from Magisk. How dare I doubt you? Three kills. I expected a drop. <laughs> Crisp as you like. Of course, around end. The AWP. That's so impressive by far. The fact he has the audacity to push down Banana like that as well. As you said, MPK had no chance of even knowing he'd be down there. He gets all the way to second mid, comes through the underpass, and a perfect play. Doesn't pull the trigger too early, knows it's the AWP. We're going to kill him close range. I believe it or not. Shot falling. He's got up on the wall ever so slightly, but he still manages the damage. One down, plus the Molotov to take damage to the body, who gets close. Good thing Fallen's up to the task with the AWP. So once again, finds very oh. tight angled shots. He'll get Kenny as well. He's still working inside of the site. Smokes up, he knows they're likely to go above him. He looks away at the wrong oh. time and somehow still hits it. Shocks goes down and Fallen is unstoppable this game. Ooh. This defense is just impregnable. Oscar finally gets the headshot. He's gonna go ahead, point blank, no scope on a Stewie. He's got the time to pick up the bomb as well. 1v2 and it's Lecro. You know, it's just he just sees the future. It's on Oscar again here. 1v2 clutch. Can he make it do it? Can he make it happen? Going to find out. They have a smoke, and that's a really big counter to that AWP. But he has a tech nine as well, so maybe he can just shoot through it anyway. Oscar moving in mid-air shot taken down automatic, and now it's another shot ringing out, almost getting Shroud, who's straight on the defuse. The smoke is there. He actually likes him through Oscar with the kill of the tech nine. He clutches the round. Four kills for him again. Bringing Mouse Sports one step closer to the Lancers Arena.